two young men slain in their own home. It described as the case Chattanooga police could never solve. It happened almost 15 years ago and is now the focus of tonight's cold case report. Police say they were shot execution style one January night, and their parents haven't given up finding the killer. They spoke with our Alicia Searle for our cold case report. Put on my blue suede shoes and it's a song that strikes a chord in the hearts of David and Julene Getchus. For reasons that might make your own heart hurt. It was uh, Donnie's favorite song. You know, that song plays at the most unbelievable times. You know. Unbelievable times, much like the scene from 1997 where their two sons are found shot to death, execution style, in their rented home. It's a case file that hasn't been touched in more than 14 years because no one has come forward with any new information on the deaths of Sean and Donnie Getchis. This is not just a random case. Um, this is two, two guys in their house that live, even though they're brothers, they still live two different lives. You know, there's something there to this case that strikes it, makes it different. Donnie, just 19 years old at the time, is described as a free spirit who loved to skateboard. His first day at Chattanooga State was in January of 1997, but instead, he was buried on that day. 25-year-old Sean was a little different. He took classical guitar lessons and was on his way to becoming a certified gemologist. That's why he worked at Rick Davis's Golden Diamond Shop. And coincidentally, that's who found the brothers dead, Sean's boss, Rick Davis. It was devastating. I mean, it was absolutely uh, the worst thing I'd ever seen in my life. Davis says Sean didn't come into work that day, so he went to check on him. That's when he found the brothers. Each had been shot in the head. One was even still standing up when Davis found him. Definitely would sound like they were trying to get something out of him before they were killed. Police don't believe anything was taken from inside the home. So as far as this being a robbery, well, police say they're just not sold on that idea. We all have secrets, uh, secrets sometimes that we want to keep. Uh, they may have had a secret that um, they were keeping for somebody else. I don't know. And if they were, you know, if that were the case, it could have caused somebody else to get into trouble. For more than a decade now, someone has kept secrets surrounding this double murder. Not even a national show like America's Most Wanted has brought those coveted secrets out. It's, it's being sentenced to hell. Now every time they hear this song, it's like Donnie is telling them it's all okay. But the Getches is telling me it's not, and they will not go to their graves without some kind of justice being served. I can still hear Donnie say, Dad, Dad. <clears throat> and Sean always calling me old man. You know, I, every day I hear that. It's painful. It's, it's unbelievably painful. In Hamilton County, Alicia Searle, WDEF News 12. Even though police haven't received any tips on this case in more than 14 years, they tell us time may actually help solve it. That's because over a long period of time, relationships can end, bring up some people to talk. If you have any tips, please call Chattanooga Police.